If you're an entrepreneur who struggles with time management, this video is for you. I'm talking to you as someone who has struggled with time management, sometimes struggle, but has gotten better over the years. And I'm going to tell you, I learned to get to, I learned how to get better through mistakes, through lessons, and through finding out what works for me. Okay, so the first thing is I have to tell you my story. I have to tell you at least one story or how bad I was at time management to the point where I've lost clients and of course it impacted my income. No, I am not proud of this. Don't ever think I'm proud to say, oh, I'm just, I was just the worst at time management, but I was that bad at my time management that I lost clients and I think I took for granted the importance of time of deadlines. So one of the things was I used to do a lot of work on Fiverr, right? I used to get a lot of clients on Fiverr. And at one point, I was just getting a lot of gigs coming in and I was just not communicating with my clients in terms of how um, difficult it was to complete their project within a specific time frame but importantly I took on these projects and I wasn't realistic with my timelines I was realistic in terms of expectations and because I wasn't realistic it affected me greatly to the point where I would submit one client project and they're excited they're happy with their work they're happy with the quality meanwhile on the back end there was another client who was just really upset that I didn't deliver the project on time no as i said i'm not proud about this but it was something i learned it was something that even affected me to the point where it's like you know i might as well i don't do this freelance thing because i'm so bad at this right and what i found was um just in my assessing was the first thing i was not realistic with my expectations and goals so the first thing i would say when you are working towards just getting better at time management is to be very realistic i want you like i currently do now is to have lay it out plain and simple lay it out what is currently taking up your time now how much time do you have or how much time can you allocate to projects right and based on the type of projects we will undertake how much time do you realistically need think about that so if you need two hours add probably an extra two hours to it because anything can happen so it's like you're taking on this project you know it will take two hours but create a wiggle room for more time to finish that project so be very realistic think about what your work life is like think about what your family life is like think about what your leisure time is like just think about every single thing that would literally take up your time and how you can balance it off i have to be honest with you this video isn't a video where i'm talking about systems or some um, amazing method i am literally just talking to you as someone who struggled with time management have the mis me have made the mistakes have learned the lessons and is just telling you how it works for me and how it could possibly work for you as well so yeah be very realistic with your time like i said i took on I mean, it's good to be getting a lot of client projects, right? It's good to be getting clients. But when you are not realistic with your time and not communicating with your client, that's a problem. So I'm going into point number two. And point number two is to communicate. When you are taking on client projects, you have to communicate. You have to be communicating every step of the way. If you said you're going to deliver the project by Friday and you realize by Tuesday that you won't be able to deliver communicate right send that message send that email just reach out to them let them know like hey you know initially we agreed to friday and based on whatever the reason is you won't be able to deliver fine sure they might be upset but what i have found in my own experience is that when i don't communicate it makes the client more upset than if i communicated so when you communicate they're like okay you know i was really working towards this deadline but now that you you know you mention it i can have it in my mind that it, it's not going to happen right 
so you want to do that as well just communicate i'm telling you i was just so bad at communicating with my clients and like i said they just like you know what clearly you're not communicating um i really love the qu i really love your work i would really love wor working with you but yeah you are not delivering based on you know the timeline you, you you shared i'm working with a timeline of my own or i have deliverables of my own and you're really in there in this progress and yeah they just cancelled the project on me so i've had those experiences which is not good which i'm not proud of but you know with every mistake there is a lesson to be learned and that was one of them communicate all right so the other thing i would talk about in terms of time management is to prioritize right so when you have projects of course you have deadlines you have your personal life you have just a lot of things right that's happening so you have your entrepreneurship work you have just work to do but there are other things happening so you're going to have to learn to prioritize now so for instance you have three projects you have to know what's the deadline you have to know the amount of time it will require um from you to get this project done and prioritize it's as simple you will have to know how to prioritize based on the 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 work you have and the effort you have to put in to ensure that project or that you know that thing thing that you're working on gets completed within a specific time frame at a, at the best quality possible right so that is something that I found is prioritizing. So again, you are an entrepreneur, you're getting three, four projects at once. That's amazing, by the way, if that's happening for you. And if you can manage it, that's great. If you cannot manage it, leave the people and work alone. <laughs> like literally leave the people and work alone. If you cannot manage multiple projects at once, leave it alone. If you can manage one or two at a particular time, and you know your turnaround time is gonna be really good, then do that if you're going to take on three four projects at the same time learn to prioritize i can't stress this enough you have to learn to prioritize and i'm going to look at my notes here because i am sure there is something else that i would suggest in terms of managing your time right so um just to reiterate you're going to need to one be realistic and be very honest with yourself in terms of what you can take on in terms of your deadlines, in terms of your expectations. And then two, you need to communicate, 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 communicate. And then three, like I said, prioritize. Now four, for me, I would say create a balance. Create a balance in your life. Yes, you're an entrepreneur, you're growing this business. It requires a lot of time from you. But you also have to create time for yourself, time to breathe, time to think creatively, time to do things that you enjoy, you know, fun things, you know, going for a walk, you know, going on adventures, going for dinner, just whatever it is. Create time for yourself. You want to um, create that balance, right? People like to say, oh, there's no balance however you define it, but just create space for you. So for me, I enjoy like swimming and I enjoy going for morning walks. So I try to create space for things like that before I get my work day started. Doing things like this help me to give more to any project that I undertake. So instead of just working, working, working all the time, like I usually do or like I did in the past, it's good to create some amount of balance that will help you to give more to yourself, more to your project and won't lead to burnout, that part. You don't want to burn out, right? Time management, if you don't know how to manage your time, you're going to get burnout. Yeah, giving it to you in Jamaican slang. So if you don't understand what I mean, you'll see it on the screen. The other thing is, and this comes back to the burnout part, which is don't overwhelm yourself. Again, this is going to be connected to every single thing that I mentioned earlier, which is being realistic, prioritizing, and creating balance, right? So when I say don't overwhelm yourself is you have to really be honest with yourself. Like, like Honestly, you have to be honest with yourself. If you're not honest to yourself, with yourself, you're doing yourself a disservice, literally. So be honest with yourself and say, you know what? Really and truly, you know, for a particular month, I can only take on five projects. And for the five projects I'm taking on, maybe in order to effectively do this project and, you know, 
give the best quality I need to outsource or I need to delegate or whatever it is, right? So don't overwhelm yourself. Find ways to lighten that load. And one of the things I would say is to ask for help. Um, I haven't been the best at asking for help. I've gotten better, right? I'm still a work in progress. But yeah, asking for help is very important because, you know, wherever you are in your entrepreneurship journey, maybe you don't always have the resources to outsource. So you can ask for help, right? That is very important. So these are just my points on how you can get better time management, right? Um, and, you know, before you take on anything, again, just sit with yourself, be honest with yourself about your your expectations, um, your deliverables, what you can manage, what you cannot do, um, and take into account your personal life, guys. I used to just feel like, I'm not a superwoman. I just was just doing so much. And, you know, while I would... I would give and give and do great work um, at some at some point or at a particular point again like I mentioned earlier my clients would either be upset whether I wasn't delivering on time or the quality of my service wasn't as good as they would have imagined or liked so those are my points I kept it very short and sweet yeah, I don't have any systems or, or any magical thing to tell you. If there's anything magical, then of course I'll do another video. And when I say magical, like if there's any system that I use, I'll share. But I think I'll do another video that will probably do a little bit more of a deeper dive in terms of how I approach my actual day. And probably what I will do is take you through the actual day in terms of time management. And I think that's a great idea. So if you'd want to see a video like that of me sharing how I actually approach my day from, you know, in terms of time, in terms of including my work life, personal life, relaxation time, and, you know, and what it feels like at the end of the day, comment below. I think that's a good video for me to share.